Um, we'll get you started with the first question of the day. This is um, back on the LPGA tour schedule for the first time since 2018. What's it like to represent China and be among friends here at the International Crown? Uh, I was uh, lucky enough to play the 2016 International Crown. Um, and at the moment, it was, I think it was, I remember it was a very unique experience because for me as a golfer, I normally just play by myself. And even we play like the Asian Games or the Olympic, it will be still just a stroke play. So you still kind of play just by yourself. And it's the first time we really have a teammate. And I think that year, I remember we had a really good time and it's very different feeling to me. Um, so, and then, so this year when I, realized we're gonna make to the to this event I was I was very excited and of course like um, now we have even a better better team I think um, everyone's in good shape so I really looking forward to this week you I'll go to you next this is also another time that you get to compete um, at the international crown competition what's it like for you um, to be back in this kind of event um, alongside your friends just like Janet? Um, I just feel like whenever I get to represent my country and compete for my country, there's really nothing like it. And especially when you get to com um, play alongside three of your um, fellow um, teammates from China. Um, it's just a very unique format that I never really get to experience. So I'm really, really looking forward to the week. Yeah. Rushen, what is it like um, when this event was uh, put back on the schedule for this year. Was this something that you had potentially circled as, you know, coming and representing your country at? Uh, yeah, well, initially I wasn't, you know, targeted to be on the team. So for me, I have to, you know, that was one of my goal. And I'm really happy I'm here today. And, you know, it will be honor for me to represent my country, you know, flags everywhere. And I'm very happy and excited to play. And ruining one last one before we open it up. Um, you are coming into this event, already have won on the LPGA Tour. You had a great, uh, you and Janet had a great week. Actually, a lot of you had a great week last week at Wilshire. Where do you think the confidence level is with you going into this event as well as your team? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty confident, uh, especially um Janet fi finished second last week, and you finished second in Hawaii. And uh, yeah, I think we're in pretty good spot right now. Yeah, we're confident. All right, Ken. Janet and you, you've both played the three courses along the Merced Mile, Lake Merced, Olympic Club, and here. Could you both, maybe Janet first, rank those three courses? Ooh, um, well, I would say there, the course, I only play nine holes today, but it does remind me a lot, um, similar to Lake Merced and Olympic Club, because it's very typical, like narrow fairways and then um, firm greens and then tree line a little bit, kind of need to shape the drive a little bit. Uh, but I think, you know, I like, I, I guess when I look at when the last time they had the PGA champ or even talking about the Olympic clubs, because it's a major setup, so the whole momentum is different. I would say here um, they definitely made it a little bit easier, at least by the look of it, than when, men, when men's playing or when we were playing the US Open at the Olympic club, because I think they try to make the tournament a little more exciting. So I think the rough is long, but not at a crazy level. And same, the green, it's firm, but it's not rolling like super fast. So I will say, and the, I mean, the team events, like the whole momentum is going to be different. We're going to be definitely more aggressive. And, and I think this course kind of set up that way too. So which is, um, which is very different. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's, it's, Similar, I would say, weather is similar, like the wind directions and the, 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 the rain, little, the damp a little bit. Um, so I, I would definitely take a lot of uh, the previous experience in, yeah. And then you? Oh, um, I just really enjoy playing this area. I feel like Lake Masseur is one of my favorite stop on tour ever since 
um, my rookie year in 2018. Um, but I would say this course, it's compared to Lake Masseur, it's more of, it's bigger. Um, everything, it's sort of more of a championship golf course, especially having hosted the 2020 PGA Championship. I watched actually the coverage a little bit back then. I just feel like the fairways are quite, um, it's quite wide, but I know they left a lot of rough. Um, they made the fairways narrower by leaving rough, but you won't get into too much trouble if if you hit air and tee shots. So I think um, I felt like distance would be a good advantage out here, um, especially the par fives. Um, um, being able to reach the par fives and s score the par fives are probably the key out here this week. And so you want to rank them one, two, three? <laughs> we'll see after this week. <laughs> if, if we do well, I'm definitely number one. But I, I would say Lake Masseur, it's among the number one in my heart, yes. Ronin, could you explain why you picked number 30 this week? Oh, I, lo I love your head, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> uh, number 30, uh, 30 I, I mean, I love Stephen Curry. And especially we're playing San Fran. Yeah, that's why I choose 30. Where did your love of Steph Curry start from? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, uh, I think he's underrated uh, since he was in high school and college, and uh, but he just keep fighting the doubters. Yeah, that's why I love him. How do you all as a team feel the pool broke for you given England's news of Georgia and Charlie withdrawing this week and, and Lynn Grant not being a part of Sweden? We're just playing ourselves. I mean, uh, we try to per per performance the best this week. Yeah, that's, that's it. Creation, you're the highest ranked player in the field. Yeah. You've had a lot of success on the Epson tour that hasn't necessarily translated to the LPGA. What does this week mean for you to maybe cement that success in the Epson in a big stage like this or to build confidence going back to the rest of the LPGA year? Well, I feel like between the tours, there's a few differences. But for me personally, I was undergoing some health issue. And um, I was straw from Hawaii, and that was a big struggling even until now. So I think I'm just trying to get myself back step by step. And, you know, this week I have teammates to rely on, and that will boost my confidence more. So I think it's a good step towards the right direction, hopefully. Could yeah. you explain a little bit more about the journey towards fixing those health issues? Well, um, it was mainly allergy for me, and um, I was having some trouble breathing and chest pain, but I did took my medicine. It didn't work great, so now we're switching to a different medicine, and hopefully things are looking better. Yeah. How many years has this been going on for? Four, five years. Yeah, at least four years. I'll throw a couple more in there. Uh, Janet, I just want to know, or she, you, I just want to know um, a little bit more about kind of this camaraderie that you guys have with each other, this friendship. Who would you say is kind of the, the one that keeps everyone smiling out there, you know, if the golf is getting a little bit too rough? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that? Uh, well, I... I don't know. I'm pretty good at making joke of myself, right? <laughs> yeah. um, well, I, 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 I would say, like, mm, this couple of years, because, I mean, I, I, first, I always travel by myself, so I've been playing out here long enough, and I think recently I started to find a better balance, um, my golf and my life, and then... I kind of, I guess, as I'm getting more mature, I kind of realize golf is not everything, and and it, golf doesn't define you as a person. So I try to keep everything simple, everything happy, and then especially um, when I'm out here by myself, it's really important to keep myself comfortable more, most of the time. So even though there's always little trouble here and there, so I think I'm started to learn 
how to get through it pretty quickly. So I think I'm 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 pretty good at it and my caddy helped me a lot. He he's really good at it too. <laughs> yeah. So Rushan, would you agree that Jana kinda keeps everyone smiling? I think she's the most outgoing one. <laughs> along with four of us and she's the most experienced out here, so m maybe that's why she talks more than we do. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> You, um, you talked a little bit about the insight. You, I know you've only played nine holes here, but how do you think kind of the strengths of your team will be put to use um, on this course starting on Thursday? Um, I feel like the strength would be we're pretty even. Like we don't really have a very obvious weakness throughout the game. Um, so I feel like we can... Um, we can take on any players out here. So I like that. I like yeah. the confidence coming in here, guys. <laughs> and I think I'll end it back with Runing. I think we have to di dive a little bit more deeper into the Steph Curry because we are very close um, to where they will be playing. I know there's a game tonight. I know we have the gala, but is that something that you'll be kind of watching text notifications on your phone for? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, when I play last week, Sunday, I think they're against the Kings. And uh, yeah, on hold two, my caddy just asked me, hey, do you want me to tell you the score right now? I thought he, he was saying the golf score. I was like, no, we're just having fun here. And uh, I just realized that um, he was talking about uh, the worst score. I said, um, um, probably not, because <laughs> if the worst lost, I'll probably cry on the golf course. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll be watching tonight. And maybe if we get a chance, I pro I'll probably go to Thursday night to wow. watch. Yeah. So you would you would go on Thursday night? Probably. I mean. I wish. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you um, start watching? Is basketball kind of one of your favorite sports to watch? Yes. Um, I think I'm a nine years Curry fan. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a and, long time. And I'll ask, I'll wrap it up with this question for any one of the teammates. Um, has she been talking about Steph Curry, like, all week, or is this the first time that you're hearing about it? For me, uh. it's the first time. <laughs> 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 uh, we, we went to... <laughs> we went to a game in Orlando in the off season. Oh, I mean maybe before the off season. <laughs> that night, somehow Magic beat Warrior <laughs> by one point, and I never see her being so angry <laughs> ever in my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was the moment I was like, because I I really I, I love watching basketball too, but I. I don't really pick a side. I mean, I'm an Under Armour athlete, so I'm kind of supporting Curry as well. But when I'm watching, I didn't really pick a side. So I feel bad for her. Thank yeah. you for the You better answer. not go Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> you will see her on the Friday. You will see. If we see you smile. can tell what's going on. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Team China. Best of luck this week. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thanks.